Well, let's uh, let's go to another game. Obviously, if you we'll get some Niners talk in on the on the Patreon, so make sure you know you go check out that. Absolutely. So, what do you where you guys want to go next? Patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. <laughs> You know, or the FFDynasty.com. Look in the middle of the page all the way to the right. It says become a patron. There's a mm. big old block there. You just click it. It's that $5 holla. There's several options to get in there. We try not to be in your face about it. Well, let's... let's big whoop. Well, the fly the ballot. We just talked about Andrew Luck and the that? Colts. <laughs> let's uh, let's segue over to uh, the Colts side of things. Yeah, it's a solid little segue. We set ourselves up. Well, no, go to the Colts. To. no Dez over there still. Thank God. They haven't <laughs> called Dez. They did just have a Deion Kane injury, which is a huge bummer for uh, us. A moment of silence or pouring one out for our homie. That's yeah, just we, a bummer. We, we were really loving some Kane and gloating about how well Clint Kane was doing and all the write-ups and all this other stuff. And, you know, <sighs> he, see him go down was a bummer. But one, one bummer for us is another... Great thing for us. We've been telling you every time we've had a chance talking about late round guys that you should be taking Ryan Grant. And this is a huge come up for Ryan Grant now all of a sudden, even though we thought that there would still be room for Ryan Grant on this team. This makes it even more plentiful. Um, You could take Chester Rogers. I got no problem with saying Chester Rogers could be your guy, too. I like Chester Rogers a lot last year. He let me down a little bit last year. I thought he was going to kind of take that step and it never happened there's been flashes um but then you saw on the other hand ryan grant i was rooting against ryan grant because i i liked what i needed old Pryor and crowder Crowder, to be doing their thing over in washington and every time i looked around this jerk is catching first downs (laughs) and touchdowns and and, and do it you know yeah and making big plays and catching 30 yard crossers i'm just on opposite ends of the spectrum with those guys this year i want the grant you can have the Rodgers, but obviously it could be Rodgers either one. Both of them are late late round flyers, and Ryan Grant probably not so much longer is not going to be that late of a round flyer. He'll be more of a, you know, it won't be like a end of the draft flyer. It'll it won't be, be the more, last pick anymore. Right. You could get Ryan Grant as the last pick all off season long, and we've been telling you about how good of a deal Ryan Grant was, and he's still going to be a good deal because until you see it, until somebody, you know, has it, basically – in most leagues, he's probably going to be on the waiver wire in week one, and we're just telling you to have him on your team so you don't have to pay for him. Yeah, Just get him on your team now and thank us after week one or week two and Brian Grant's out there. And basically, now that Andrew Luck's throwing out there playing football and, you know, hallelujah look, for that, fine. it makes you smile and everything's right in the world. Andrew Luck's back on the field. He didn't forget how to throw football. No, he did not forget how to do it. And now that Andrew Got Luck's back... Got a sweet back, mustache. <laughs> Lost the neck beard. Right. Yeah, it's got a in. mustache. Did it Sick it? mustache. I did not see that in the condensed Didn't. version. No. Traded it in. Traded in the neck beard for the mustache. Oh man. Um but yeah, so Bummer. Ryan Grant. Just when I thought he couldn't do anything. Dumber. Scoop him up now. Yeah, well so you, you get a little luck. He looks just fine. Um obviously like this from I've been liking some TY because with the you know I was kinda in camp luck all along thinking that Luck's going to come back and be fine just being a little bullish on it and it happened to work out in my favor so I don't yeah. look like a complete idiot. Nice. But it's the, the biggest takeaway from all of this is T.Y. Hilton is about to crush. You saw it out on the field there. He, every, he was just looking T.Y.'s way a lot of times. This is this is going to be... T.Y.'s going to return to wide receiver one... Uh, Prominence. Right. And I, 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 I'm, all, I'm all in on some, some T.Y. this year. I think the I think the cane injury definitely bumps up a little little Doyle for me as well. It, I think it needs to, and I think um, just the first of all, let me just not say one more thing about Kane. Like he's obviously he's out for the year. He was coming on strong in training camp, and I just feel like he's a he's a uh, he's a great stash. But at this point, oh, he, and he gets on the IR for you this exactly. year. Exactly. He's he's. At this point, in your, if you haven't already done your rookie draft, you can pick up a Ray Ray McLeod now. Put somebody. Don't don't even. Nobody's going to draft. Nobody's going to draft Deion Kane in your rookie draft if you're having a late rookie draft now and you haven't done it. So he's your first move in the waiver wire. Or if you have to have a full squad, or you can't do. You know, if you got to drop somebody, then maybe you get Ray. Maybe you try to figure out a way to get Deion Kane on your team and then put him in the waiver in the IR spot once it pops up. And then you can have that open spot on your bench. You pick up your Ray Ray McLeod. Exactly. Depending on your league settings, figure out how to navigate that to get him on your team, stick him in your IR spot. You're getting a bonus roster spot off of him. Exactly. But you don't have to buy him anymore 
but we're not out on him. Just stick him in the in the IR and wait for a year. He's he was he with luck back. You think about what else is there. I mean, Ryan Grant is to be determined on I mean, he's not a game breaker. You got TY Hilton who's not going to get any younger another year and we'll see what happens. All you can maybe somebody breaks out and may or maybe they go hot and heavy in the draft next year or maybe they address problems on the defense side of the ball hot and heavy next year and they're like hey we got this Deion Kane coming back Ryan Grant's pretty good we got a couple of good tight ends and we still got TY and Deion Kane comes right back where he was this year you never, right. you don't know but definitely don't there's no reason to draft don't have to pay anything for Deion Kane now but don't right. forget about him don't act like he's not there get him on your bench get him on the bottom of your bench if it's a short bench obviously but you put him in your IR spot and just hold him in, in for your dynasty team for sure